What can I do? I wanted to love her. I tried to love her. I couldn't. You tried. Did you tell her you loved her? No, oh, I had no choice. She squeezed it out of me. She'd tell me she loved me. All right, so at first I'd just look at her. I'd go, oh, really? Or, uh, boy, that's, that's something. But you know, eventually you have to come back with, well, I love you. You, know, you can only hold out for so long. You're a human being. I didn't even ask her out. She asked me out first. She called me up. What was I supposed to do, say no? <laughs> I can't do that. You're too nice a guy. I am. I'm a nice guy. And then she seduced me. We're in my apartment. I'm sitting on the couch. She's on the chair. I get up to go to the bathroom. I come back. She's on the couch. What am I supposed to do? Not do anything? I couldn't do that. I would have insulted her. You're flesh and blood. I had nothing to do with any of this. I met all her friends. I didn't want to meet them. I kept trying to avoid it. I knew it would only get me in deeper. But they were everywhere. They kept popping up all over the place. <laughs> this is Nancy, this is Susan, this is Amy, this is my cousin, this is my brother, this is my father. It's like I'm in quicksand here. I told you when I met her. <sighs> my back is killing me. You gotta go to my chiropractor. He's the best. Oh, yeah, everybody's guy is the best. Yeah, I'm gonna make an appointment for you. We'll go together. Please, they don't do anything. Look, do I have to break up with her in person? Can't I do it over the phone? I, I have no stomach for these things. You should just do it like a Band-Aid. One motion, right off! I'm out of there! I did it! It's over! You did it? What happened? I told her! In the kitchen! Which was risky, because it's near all the knives. <laughs> I started with the word listen. I uh -huh. said... Listen, Marlene, and the next thing I know, I'm in the middle of it. And there's this voice inside of me going, you're doing it, you're doing it. And then she started to cry, and I, I weakened a little bit. I almost relented, but the voice, Jerry, the voice said, keep going, keep going, you're almost out. It's, it's like I was making a prison break, you know, and I'm, I'm heading for the wall, and I, I trip, and I twist my ankle, and they throw that light on you, you know? <laughs> so somehow, I get through the crying, and I keep running. Then the cursing started. She's firing at me from the guard towers. Son of a bang! Son of a boom! I get to the top of the wall, the front door. I open it up, I'm one foot away, I take one last look around the penitentiary, and I jumped! See? Never as bad as you imagine. I like that, Marlene. What's your number? Uh, yeah, no, I... I don't think so. So that's it? Yeah. You're out. Except for one small problem, I, uh, <laughs> I left some books in her apartment. <laughs> so? Go get them. No, 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 no. I, I can't go back there. Jerry, it's so awkward, and, it, you know, it could be dangerous, sexually. Something could happen. I'd be right back where I started from. So forget about the books. Did you read them? Well, yeah. What do you need them for? <laughs> no, they're books. What is this obsession people have with books? They put them in their houses like they're trophies. What do you need it for after you read it? They're my books. So you want me to get the books, is that it? I don't know how this happened. Jerry, it's not my fault. No, no, it's not your fault. Books, books, I need my books. <laughs> have you reread those books yet, by the way? You know, the great thing, when you read Moby Dick the second time, Ahab and the whale become good friends. <laughs> you know, it's not like Marlene's a bad person or anything, but my God, I mean, we've had like three lunches in a movie and she never stops calling. And it's those meaningless, purposeless blather calls. She never asks if I'm busy or anything. I just pick up the phone and she's in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> it's standard. She left you one of those messages where she uses up the whole machine? Oh, and some, you know, sometimes she'll go, hello, Jerry. And I'll go, oh, hi, Marlene. And then it's, Jerry, I don't know no, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> what about trying to get off the phone? Oh! <laughs> you can't, it's impossible. There's no break in the conversation where you can go, all right, then. You know, it just goes on and on and on without a break in the wall. I mean, I, I gotta put a stop to this. Just do it like a Band-Aid. One motion. Right off! <laughs> she is sexy, though. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, she is.